Hey guys, from the story, Sass, 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 and welcome to another cigar review. And today we are doing this. This has a long name. Uh, Leroy Neiman Collector's Edition from JC Newman Cigars. There you go. Yeah, we 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 kind of like. This should be a double double review. So make sure to check out Eric's. We we kind of like. We don't want to do this because it looks like a mess. All right, I understand it's art. I understand it's a, a collector's edition, but damn, I just cannot get the, I cannot get over the, the look. Now, keep in mind, this packaging is cool, it's, it's textured, it's everything, but I'm going to take away that prejudice against the cigar and try it. All right, try it. So let's do this. Um, first, let's take a look at the cigar, okay? So this cigar is 6x52 Toro, wrapper is Ecuadorian Habano Rosado, binder is uh, Sforda Sangro from USA, and filler is Nicaraguan, and some USA tobacco in there. Uh, MSRP, it is $20. $20 a cigar, which is, no, I mean, but it's not that bad. I'm, I'm just looking at the picture. I'm like, oh, bam, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so they made 500 boxes of 20 cigars. That's exactly how in the shadow project is going to do. See? That pricing for this cigar price is not that crazy, okay? All right. So, looking at this, three band celebration of some Irish American bar painting. So, that's what we got. I'm going to take off the first band. Okay. And. Let me see if I can get... Oh my god, it's taped on? Okay, 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 okay. It's taped on. The bottom band is taped on, so I'm going to try to remove it. Uh, what the... I'm having a little trouble finding the band. The end of the band without ripping it, so... There we go. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Working on it. Working on it. Working on it. Work it. You got, you got to, you, nah. Okay, here we go. Oof. Put it back in there. That's a lot of information on here. Okay. Leroy Collection, Irish American Bar, 1978. Uh, it's a lot of crap, so. You can read it on your own. I just pause and read it. And this is the image. It looks like a bar. It looks like a bar. For okay, so when it rolled up, it's really hard to see. But once it opened up, you can see that it's a guy doing a bartender. You know, the bartender. Huh? So yeah, I mean, on the wall, this will be cool. I'm tiny. That looks like a mess. Okay, so I think that art looks cool. If it's a big burden, that's tiny. That's hard to see. But in the corner of my eyes right now, I can see it. It's pretty cool. All right. <sighs> Smells kind of earthy and leathery. Oh, nice cut today. All right. What's with the recent taste? All right, a little bit saltiness. 
little bit of a, like a mocha, maybe, and with some earthiness to it. And leather. And some sort of grass. Actually, no, correct that. It's hay. All right. There's some saltiness to this. What the hell? Shouldn't be. Based on what's in there. Must be the Ecuadorian Habano. That's giving that a little bit. The cigar bits. You know how you cut it? You, 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 you taste it? That bits is salty. Ooh. All right. What the? Tastes a little bit of like barnyard earthiness, leathery. I still taste a little bit of that saltiness, just a little bit, not a lot of saltiness. A little bit of sweetness. And you're not gonna believe this. It tastes like, I'm gonna use a torch. It tastes like those uh, breakfast black tea tea bag. Yeah, tastes like those breakfast black tea tea bag. It's a little wet. I don't know why, because uh, we didn't put but we a pack for this, and they, they sit on the table in Dominican. <laughs> For an entire week. I don't know why. Oh, I smell. I, I taste cocoa as well. Some cocoa. Oh, it's creamy too. Now it's creamy. And spice. Okay, pepper. Spice. Actually, that's probably not pepper. It goes away really quickly. It might be a cinnamon. Might be cinnamon. No, could be white pepper too. Yeah, it's creamy. Strains about medium. All right, the tea. Breakfast. Tea bag taste is uh, slowly to go away, and only the free puff in. Sweet too. Wow. All right, let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. All right, first third, a lot of flavor, very potent, salty. Like I said, maybe some coffee. Tea bag, uh, basic black tea, okay, uh, and, and um, cocoa, cinnamon. This starts to have a little bit of, I don't know, like a lemon zest or some sort of lemon taste to it. Only on some of the retro hill, some of the retro hill. Pepper. Pepper, woodsiness, hay, earthiness, mineral. First, third, I'm impressed. 
I am impressed with this taste. Actually, pretty good. I can't even complain about first stir. So, first stir, very good. First stir, we're already at 19. I'll pay $19 for this. First stir, I'm already at 19. Uh, there's a little bit of dry issue. It's kind of spongy. I don't know why. See? So... And I didn't put any humidifying thing for it. This was sitting outside for a long time and continued to sit outside. So I don't know why it's so wet. But hopefully as, um, it doesn't bother me, but it tastes good right now. So now, smoking through the second third. We'll be right back. All right, second third. I will say that flavor died down a little bit. It's a little bit more boring, uh, more earthy. Pepper. It just got a little bit boring. Um, but still a good cigar. It's just boring. Uh, it, it wasn't as colorful as the first there. That, I probably had to take a couple of dollars down. Because that wasn't impressive at all. Retro Hill still have a little bit. Again, still not as pretty and multi-dimensional as the first there. Second there kind of died down a little bit. So, that's where we're at right now. A couple of dollars down, maybe. And we have the last stir. Show you the second band. Just says collector's edition. In the front. And I think that's part of the art that they cut out. I can't tell you if that is part of the art because now it's already pretty messy. But I think, oh yeah, no, it's the shoulder. It's the shoulder part of the art. So they cut somewhere here. Somewhere here. To get that. Now there is some writing in the back. I am a believer in the theory that and the artist is important is as important as his work. What? I am a, I'm a believer in the theory that the artist is as important as his work. Leroy Neiman. Okay, so we got that. Now, last turn, let's finish up and get back to summary. You're back. All right, last turn, as you can see, I knocked it. But um let's 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 one more puff. Let's refresh my mind. A little bit. All right. Last turn. Stream is about medium plus. Never hit full, but it's about medium plus. plus. And it's got still barnyard, um, woodiness, and maybe a little bit of cocoa, a little bit of sweetness. And it's, again, not as pretty as the first stir. Not as multi dimensional as the first stir. It basically just. Got worse, got a little bit better. Got worse, got a little bit better. So, I'm gonna rate the cigar at 15 to 15 to 17. Depends how much you like that art. 15 to 17. So, yeah, that's where I am right now with the cigar. I can't get any higher because it drops off. Uh, if it doesn't drop off, I think it will be very close to 20, if not 21. Uh, but it dropped off and it got more one-dimensional. So it's mm, it's unfortunate. It could have been a really good cigar, you know, in my opinion. So, all right, the main band. Just that looks the same as the box, I believe. In back it says, um, you know, the Leroy Neiman Foundation and J.C. Newman. Boom. Okay. Now, it's not out of the norm because uh, normally J.C. Newman cigar is more pricey. You know, they use American tobacco and stuff like that. It's more pricey. I, I'm not even talking about, you know, when I read the thing, I'm not reading the material that's used. I'm reading on the experience. So if you solely based on material use, probably more because American labors are more expensive. That's just the way it is. So, um, yeah. 15 to 17. Up and down. That's the that's the, that's the the range I'm going to stay with. Okay. Still pretty good cigar. I'll... I'll, I'll, I'll I'll recommend it. At first, I thought it was a mess. I didn't like it. But as you open up the wrapper and stuff like that, it's just a cigar, man. Just enjoy the cigar. So, that will be it for this particular review. Make sure to check out uh, Smoke White if, uh, if, yeah, if you have one. Uh, Eric's review on this one. It is a, it's going to be a double review. Uh, unless he didn't release it. And that's a different story. And see if you like it. Make sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Listen to our podcast. We have a lot of stuff. Join the membership to listen to our DR stuff. 
uh, those will be members only right now. Uh, it's not gonna get released right away for the uh, people that are not member. I will, this is one of those benefits for the members and the Legion stuff, uh, so that you know, they get to know that some insider stuff uh, is not gonna be public for a while. Okay? So if you wanna see those, gotta join the membership. If not, wait a little bit. Okay? That will be it for this uh, cigar review. I think I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.